worst ways people have died. Part 35 At around 3.30 p.m. a man was driving in a Rowell area along Spruce Road. Just west of the M50 to highway on Spruce Road there is a slight curve to the southwest. Police believe the man had a medical emergency and failed to negotiate the turn. He drove directly into the house. The house was abandoned for several years and infested with bees. Several people tried to help but were driven back by swarms of bees. Someone tried to tow the car but it was too late he was pronounced dead at the scene. Pictures taken before disaster, part four. So next up, we got this sweet little family pic here. But if you take a nice close look, right there is a rattlesnake getting ready to strike the mom on the arm. It was said that both the mom and the dog got bit by the snake. The mom survived, all was well with her, but the dog died. So that's pretty freaking sad. Dumbest criminals ever, part eight. This is Taja Dowell. Police are on the hunt for the 18-year-old who they say attacked a high school student in November. Taja allegedly approached the student demanding the girl's phone and backpack. When the girl refused, Taja dealt several blows to her head and then dragged the unconscious girl on the ground by her backpack. Authorities had trouble identifying the suspect until Taja decided to take some pictures on the phone. The photos were sent to the victim's iCloud account, and police were able to apprehend Taja. Creepy things caught on Snap, par 1. So here we got a boy named Aiden Fucci posting from the back of a cop car asking if anybody's seen Tristan lately. This is Tristan Bailey, who had gone missing, and the person behind it all was the person asking from the back of a cop car. Aiden was caught on surveillance walking into a wooded area with Tristan and then seen several hours later running from that same wooded area without Tristan. Aiden had stabbed Tristan 114 times and yeah here he is bragging with a friend about being in the back of a cop car. He was soon arrested and now sits in jail. Worst Ways People Have Died, Part 4 Weird Things Found in Food Worst ways people have died. Daisy, 
Celebrity's Last Words, Part 4. Naya Rivera was a pretty famous actress. You may have known her from Glee. On July 8th of 2020, Naya rented a boat along with her son, and they went out on Lake Lanier. Shortly after jumping into the water, she rushed to get her son back onto the boat, and then once she got him on the boat, she ended up drowning. She saved her four-year-old son's life, and he recalled her last words as being, help me. Next up, we have the lead singer of Queen, Freddie Mercury. The lead singer was diagnosed with AIDS, and his last words were PP as he wanted to go to the bathroom, and once he went to the bathroom and returned, he ended up being put on the bed and broke a bone. This caused him to have convulsions and led to a fatal coma. Famous Autopsies Part 8, Robin Williams. On August 11th of 2014, popular actor Robin Williams took his own life. He was last seen at around 10.30 by his wife, and then the next morning, he was found unalived in a locked bedroom. In the months leading up to his passing, his wife had noticed strange behavior from him, as well as him sleeping in a separate bedroom due to insomnia. Prior to his passing, he was showing signs of paranoia and had been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. He was found in the bedroom with a nylon belt around his neck and leaning forward forward in a seated position. The belt was attached to the closet door. Near him in another chair was another belt as well as an iPad. Marks were found on his neck. Examination showed hemorrhage in his surface blood vessels which revealed a rash called petechia. There were multiple wrist wounds that were still oozing, most likely due to the pocket knife found nearby. Further examination of his brain revealed that he was wrongly diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. He was actually suffering from Lewy body dementia. This causes insomnia, impairment, hallucination. Oh, no worries, wonderful. Now here's the files for all the um, living patients. Okay, these are all the living, okay, wonderful. And here are the files for all the deceased patients. Holy hell no. When... This is the living? Um, yes ma'am. And this is the dead? Yes. I gotta get the hell out of here. Famous Autopsies Part 1, Christina Grimmie. Christina Grimmie was an up-and-coming singer-songwriter who got her start on YouTube, where she grew mega popular, and then went on to compete on The Voice, where she placed third. On June 10th of 2016, after performing her show in Orlando, Florida, she was hosting a meet and greet. And waiting in line to meet Christina was Kevin Loibel, an obsessed fan of hers, and as she welcomed him with open arms, he opened fire on her. Christina's brother tackled Kevin to the ground, but by then it was too late and Kevin took his own life. Christina went on to later pass at the hospital. Examination determined that there was an entrance wound at the top right of her head near the temple, and there was also stifling present. This means that she was fired upon within a two-foot range. Her brain showed significant bruising, her skull was fractured. A second entrance wound was found in her chest, which revealed a broken rib, perforated lung. A third wound was found at the shoulder, facing downwards, which broke more ribs and punctured the other lung. All three were fatal, so rest in peace. Worst Animal Attacks, Part 6 In May of 2009, child services were called to the home of Jaron Hare and her boyfriend Jason Darnell. Child Services closed the investigation after they signed a paper saying that they would not do drugs. The couple was suspected of doing various types of drugs, which is even worse because Cheyenne, Jaren's two-year-old daughter, lived with them. Another thing living in the house was an eight and a half foot Burmese python, which was being held in a tank, and the tank was sealed by a quilt with safety pins. Sometime after, on June 31st, Cheyenne was strangled in her crib by the python. The next morning, Jason found the snake around Cheyenne and proceeded to stab it, but it was too late. Along with signs of being strangled, Cheyenne's body had multiple bite wounds. Jaron and Jason were soon both sentenced to 12 years. 